What is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Spin Tires Mod Runner for a look at a brand new mod that I am very excited about and this is Frog's first gen Cummins. Now this is I believe his first mod that he has released as a vehicle. Now he's done maps before and as you can see, yes, this mod is a little bit like there are some areas where you would consider it a little bit rough around the edges, yes. But I l I'm highlighting it because number one, I love seeing I love seeing more people getting into making vehicles, and number two, I love seeing first gen Dodge Rams getting some attention in the modding community. So those are the two reasons why I felt really, really um, I was really, really excited to show this truck and show it off and see what it could do. Now I've never driven it before. So this will be very interesting. Now, he said it was tuned by Banks, and then the tune was modified by him. So it drives... So far, it definitely drives like a Banks truck. It's powerful. Um, but at the same time, you can tell that somebody besides Banks has had their hand in the tune. So with that being said, that's not a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing that somebody else has had their hand in the tune. But I do think that you can definitely... If you've got a lot of Banks' mods, this will feel familiar uh, to you. So... Suspension-wise and grip-wise, it's definitely got a, um, it's definitely got a lot going for it. It's powerful. Um, it's powerful, but it's also got a, it's got a lot of give in the suspension. It's got a lot of give to let you go wherever you want, but at the same time, you can pretty much go through stuff. Now, as far as mud goes, it is, well, let's find out. Um, it's pretty much bulletproof. Yeah, it seems to be pretty much bulletproof when it comes to mud. Seems like it'll go wherever the hell you want it to go. We're ra like, dude, we're just bashing through here in fifth gear, might I add, going a lot faster than you would normally expect to go through the mud or through a swamp. We almost rolled it over. That's how fast this thing is, and that's how much grip it has. And as you can see, the water level that it can go up to is pretty good. I mean... If you submerge the hood, it's going to get dangerous. But as long as you keep the engine above water, you're pretty much good to go. So as you can see there, that's the point at which it, uh, yeah, when water goes down your stack, you're kind of done. So I'm going to actually restart the level because I have another thing that I really want to showcase in this video that really means a lot to me in, in, like, in why I'm showing it to you guys. So the other thing that I wanted to show is the fact that it can use... Um, it can use Banks's trailer, and that is the trailer that can tow the skid steer. Now, I don't know about you, but there's a big, big plus for me uh, in any truck that, number one, actually has its trailer hitch in the right place, and number two, that you can use as a work truck. Work trucks are very, very cool, and there are a lot of people out there that use their own personal truck as a work truck. They'll modify their personal truck, but there's, there's, they'll still use it to tow a skid steer, or tow a bobcat, or tow their, you know, uh, tow their off-road toys, or whatever it may be. And I think that gives this truck a lot more, a lot more uh, of a cool factor. Frankly, I think it gives it a, a much higher cool factor, and it definitely makes it a a much more believable truck, you know what I mean? Because a lot of people with first-gen Dodges, you know, they're, they're going to use them. You know what I mean? The first-gen Dodge, you're going to use it. You're going to use it to pull something. You're going to use it to haul something. You're going to go out in the wilderness with it. You're going to, you're going to, uh, there's a whole host of things you're going to do with a first-gen, uh, first-gen Dodge. So, let's swap over to the trailer, and we'll throw that skid steer on there. So, this thing, wait a second. Could it carry, like, short logs in the bed? Okay, no, never mind. I was like, man, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool if you could do that. But no, we've got the skid steer on the back, and it looks actually really, really good. It really suits this truck. And now, the angle of the trailer, I will say, is a little bit a little bit off. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have chosen an angle like that. I think it's a little harsh. I would have put a bigger drop. Like, a, I would have put a, a, a hitch with more of a drop on the truck. I would have basically put a longer drop hitch on the truck. But that's... That's really nitpicking on my end, so I can't really say that. Like, I can't really sit here and say that, you know, when I didn't have a hand in making the truck. So, overall, I think it's a really... I mean, it's such a cool-looking package, too. Like, it, it just looks so cool to have a lifted first-gen with a stack, single cab, you know, towing a skid steer. Like, it just looks right. You know what I mean? It just looks right, and it looks so cool. And it's one of those things that, you know, why would you not want to have it? 
And the interior, yeah, the interior definitely needs a lot of work if he plans on finishing it. A lot of people don't end up finishing the interiors on their trucks because they never hang out in, in the interior view. So it doesn't really make any sense to them to put an interior in their truck. Now, with that being said, though, ooh, that trailer gets really, really uh, wiggly at the back end of the truck. It gets really all over the place if you let it. It will slide out, uh, like, from underneath you. Now, with that being said, though, I think that this truck is actually a really cool package. I think it's a fun package. Is it a little bit overpowered in the mud? Yes. It's a little bit past the realistic threshold, in my opinion. It's definitely more on the scale of an arcade, like a fun arcadey truck than a, you know, like over the top realistic truck. Um, but at the same time, the more arcadey trucks tend to be really fun. So you kind of have to strike a middle ground. And if you just want to, like, if you just want to bomb around in a cool truck, a fun truck, this thing this thing has you covered, man. If you just want a first-gen Dodge to bomb around in and have a good time, you know, pull, pull some trailers, you know, complete some maps in a really cool way, like, because this load counts, you know what I mean? It counts for eight points. So it's either eight points or six points, I'm not sure. But you could complete a map by towing skid steers, effectively. And that's just so cool to me. That you can complete a map by doing that. And it adds a different level of... It's like, yeah, you know, if you're willing to kind of roleplay out um, the scenario a little bit, you know, you could make it... Like, that's my objective. If I deliver, like, let's say, for example, three or four skid steers on a given map, like, that's your objective, is to do skid steer deliveries. And if you're willing to roleplay that little bit of it out, then there's there's... There's a whole nother extra bit of life to the game for you. You know what I mean? And yeah, you have to use your imagination just a little bit, but... I think that that's more than, like, that's more than doable, like, because one of the biggest things for me is, like, I wanted more objectives in the game other than delivering lumber, and this literally fills that, you know what I mean? This literally fills that niche and fills that hole of something that people are looking for, and I've had multiple people tell me that, I, that they wished that there was another objective in the game besides just delivering lumber, and while the modders have given us scenarios where you are delivering something other than lumber, you do have to kind of, you know, tell yourself that, like, yes, this is different. This isn't just lumber, but, you know, it's like, it is different, you know what I mean? And even though it's more like kind of a mask over the lumber rather than a different objective entirely, it does give you the sensation that you are delivering something other than lumber because there are some trucks that can carry rocks. There are some trucks that can carry, like, concrete and dirt and stuff like that. Now, to be fair, you're still delivering it to a lumber mill, but at the end of the day, like, delivering, like, a skid steer or something to a lumber mill isn't all that out of context because... Of course you could deliver a, a skid steer. Like, I could see that being realistic. Like, you'd have a skid steer delivered from a, say, an equipment store to a lumber mill. Um, maybe not with the given attachment on this thing, but, you know, with a lift attachment, like a forklift attachment to lift stuff and carry things around. So I could still see it as a realistic objective, uh, given that current scenario. But we're, get, we're coming up on the lumber mill now. And this thing is super cool, and I definitely suggest getting your hands on one. It's a really, really cool truck, and I think he did a really good job with it, especially for it being his first mod, uh, or his first vehicle mod. And I want to say, I want to say that he did a good job, and I want to say, like, right here in this video that he did a good job, because, honestly, mad props to somebody that, okay, so it's a four-point load, but mad props to somebody that just jumps right in, and, and is like, hey, here's my first truck, you know what I mean? But if you all enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you guys next time.